Oh, was he skinny and he looks really weird and I just broke my rod. What's up guys, it's PD Fishing and today we have a special video. We got the hunter fisher in the background over here. And today we are at a lake that has completely dried up. There's a sinkhole that formed here and then it completely collapsed. So like as you can see on the ground, it's like nothing but muddy and just like dead hydrilla. And we found a big old pool of water that we got some advice to go to. Apparently the fishing is really well over here. I've been throwing a frog and I've seen a lot of blow up. So hopefully I got able to, able to catch something. Dad's over at the landing with the uh, drone. He's gonna get some good drone shots, but it is completely dried up. Like there's, it's super muddy. I've destroyed my shoes. See how destroyed they are. But uh, Hunter's got the old Crocs. And yep. we're gonna try something. There's Dad with the drone. I don't know if y'all can see that, but. What's up guys? I wanna explain what's happening in this clip. And what you're watching is two waterways running into an aquifer. So this lake is fed by an aquifer. And the aquifer got so low that the limestone at the bottom of the lake collapsed. And all this water you're watching right now is going into the aquifer. And so that lady, where she's standing, she would be completely underwater like five days ago. This just happened, which is crazy. And we went out there, and there's just pools of water. And it's really sad because there's a bunch of, like, dead fish and bluegill. But, I mean, there's some good fishing out there right now. There's little holes that you can go to. But it was pretty cool. It was a really good scene to look for. Hunter, what you thinking, bud? I'm thinking some people out here are crazy. There's a guy swimming in one of these holes right now. Where's the other over there? There's a person swimming over there. On that it. is disgusting. <laughs> that is nasty. But boys, what you're seeing right here are bluegill beds. It's For really a cool long to time see them. ago. Yeah. Apparently. It's really cool to see them though, since the water came out. Yeah. Got to paint the spot for where the water comes back up. Those beds are really deep. But yeah. yeah, boys, this is what it looks like. Little water spots, and then everywhere else is just nothing but mud. Yeah. You can see my shoes, I'm caked. My legs are a little bit. He's got, he's got some stuff too. Yep. But we're out of this spot. We're gonna go try to catch some fish some someplace where they are at. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> just not start condensed. walking it and try to see if I can find some spots. But uh, I'll see you guys at the next spot. All right, boys, y'all know the drill. First fish, biggest fish, most fish. Starts now, first cast. See what, see what happens. I'm obviously throwing a spook. I think it tends to get some good action early in the morning. Look in the water. I can't get it. Oh! Look at it. Look. So we. Oh, it went in the water. All right, boys. This morning bite is over. Switching to the old Texas rig. Putting on a black and blue bandito. Black and blue bite out here has been pretty solid. Pretty solid. Spam number. Oh, nice. You feel like eating frogs. Oh, there's one already. Really? Yep, there he is. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> there he is, boys. Let's go. Let's go. He's a good fish, dude. Nah, he's a little like. I'm probably gonna weigh him just to see if he's past two at all, but I don't know. As soon as I cast and I start reeling, he starts running. I'm like, dang, already? Dude, dude he's... I'm so mad I was using Ultra. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. so skinny. Look how skinny he is. He choked it, dude. Yeah, he choked. He would have been a two. Oh. Oh. No. That actually just broke, bro. We doubled up. We doubled up? Doubled mine's, up. I think mine's smaller, though. Doubled up, boys. He's skinny and he looks really weird and I just broke my rod. At least you're not at Lake Jackson, bro. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's a uh, 2-7. All right, boys, a little humpback. Thanks, buddy, for biting. 
Thought I was gonna have to do some surgery, but it actually came right out. All right, boys, let's let him go. My home back. Quasimodo. Come on, buddy. You good, bro? You got it. Give him a sec. There he goes. Let's go. Let's go, bro. So snap the rod. Definitely sending that thing back. Hopefully they got a warranty on that. So now I'm throwing some 40 pound braid Texas rig on the, the old loose setup. Probably gonna break another rod. Oh, he's gonna come to me, watch. You ready? Came back. Oh, he just broke off, nice. That mono. Were you on a fish? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Depending on how hard he hooks it, maybe he's still there. I get it. I knew it too. What you got, oh, I dropped in. Nice. Let himself go. Hmm? Let himself go. I'm going to. I have like zero <laughs> luck today. My luck is like just completely just. Oh, I just got swung at it. Oh, I got him at the top of the mouth. It's not gonna be hard to get out though. Look at that. 10 pounder, baby. Heck yeah. I felt him hit it a little bit. All right, boys. Got this little 10 pounder here. Heck yeah. Does it look like 10 pounds now? Yeah. I'm up three. I got three. I got first fish, biggest fish, and the most fish. Yeah. Hunter, you gotta catch up, bro. Bro, I'm trying to catch up. I, I've got the bites, but I ain't got the commits, dude. All I've right. broken off how many times? Like three uh, now? Three. I yeah, think three so. now? Yeah. All right, boys, we're gonna let this 10 pounder go. Let him live another day. Yep. Eat, eat another shad. Bro, he is fat. Look at that 10 pounder. This is 10 pounder. Yep, 10 pounder. All right, boys. Yeet. There we go. There he goes. Let's get it. Like really hot. Like to the point where I want to jump in hot. Oh. Dang it. That's a real bass, baby. That's a real bass. It's 12 inches. Gosh. That is small as crap, dude. All right, boys, so we caught another dinker dinker, dinkosaurus. Just ran off with the old bandita bug, nice little 10 pounder. Look at that, bro. Yeah. Dude, that's a big one, son. Let's go, I think I'm gonna keep him to eat. <laughs> yeah, he make a perfect filet. Just playing. See you, buddy. Appreciate it for biting. We're actually getting on bigger fish. <laughs> bigger, yeah. Cast this out in the middle of the open. Heck yeah. Probably catch one. Be quite honest. Probably. Holy crap, is that a catfish? No. I've seen catfish out here in forever. <laughs> Such a subtle. I saw his tail flop and I'm like, oh, that's a gar. And then I saw his tail flop and I was like, that's a catfish. And I'll just tie the F2 knot. Oh, I'm getting hit. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. 
Is that the oh? It's a dink. Caught out in the middle. I told you I catch one out in the middle. <laughs> it's, no, <laughs> it's nothing but dinks, dude. Okay. I think you're done. Dude, what is happening in the pine? Boys. I can't find any big. This is yeah. This I is one big and I lost it. This is a dink, dude. I dude. I literally just said I'll cast it out in the open and catch one. one. Literally feel the bite like two. Oh, did I get him in the eye? I'm sure it would be fine. Oh, crap. There we go. <sighs> but he's spiking me. Ow. All right. Little Top one. five pounder, you know? Easy money. There we go. Got it on camera. Nice. Big old five pounder. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. And today was a, uh, it wasn't bad, but it was kind of still tough. Yeah, it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be. To be honest. I also lost a lot of fish, so that's always good. I lost like, I think like four. Four or five. I think I lost like two. But I caught, I think it got like four or something. But that first one was really good. It was two, a two pound, seven ounce fish. It was home back, but hey, doesn't matter. Bass is a bass dog. Yep. So it's getting hot. We're heading in. I broke that gold rod. That's nice. Cause that's literally the only Texas rig setup I run. So I had to put a Texas rig setup on the 40 pound braid loose rod and reel. So it is what it is but uh make sure you guys like subscribe and comment got that 1500 subscriber giveaway slx dc on the gunga squad gold rod go to and till then boys keep slapping them <laughs>